Hi Aries, thank you for joining me for your Soulmate Twin Flame reading for the week of August 7th through August 13th. Um, I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos and booked readings with me, and also those of you who have donated to my channel. I truly appreciate you all and I love doing this for you. If you would like a private reading, please go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com or you can email me at AscendingSoulsJourney at gmail.com. I know it's a mouthful. Um, the first card you have is the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a person who is, is happy, filled with joy and love and wants to celebrate and share that joy and love with other people. And this is followed by the Emperor. The Emperor is a person who is very wise. They're very mature in their thinking. They, they understand life. They've lived life, both tough and joyful, but they are wise and know how to handle it and know what worked best for them. So they can be stubborn as well and stoic. They hide their feelings and emotions because for them, that's what they feel works. Now this is followed by, uh, I was gonna say Libra, because this is a card of Libra, but it has nothing to do with our reading, does it? So this is followed by justice, and justice is the karmic scales of balance being balanced back out. So either they're out of whack in this reading, or they're going to come into, in, come into balance, or they're in balance, but let's continue. So this is followed by the death card. The death card doesn't mean death, actual death. It means death of the old transforming into new. So it can mean something coming to an end or transforming to a new beginning. This is followed by temperance. Temperance is about um, being in balance. It's another balance card, but being in balance in all ways, so this is physically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, but everything around you is in balance. And this is followed by the Hierophant. This card represents somebody standing strong in their traditions and their values and belief systems. And it can represent marriage as well, which is followed by the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is a person who is at a crossroad. They need to make a decision and they're trying to figure out how to make that decision. Um, and if you notice, this person has this crown over the third eye. So they're being intuitively guided on having help with this decision. And this is followed by the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is it's an immature offer for passion and romance, okay, energetically. So this person may not be used to making an offer to move forward in this direction, but they believe that they have everything they need and they're ready and very excited about making this offer. You had another card come out and it is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is somebody who also has been through pretty much every avenue in life you can think of. Um, this person has been lied to, manipulated, cheated on. They, they've been through everything and it has made them become wise and highly intelligent. This person stands strong in the truth of who they are and they speak the truth. And the truth, although may be cutting, at least they speak the truth and it's not a game. They, they're they actually a good person. So what I'm getting here, Aries, for some of you, this death transformation card is going to happen for everybody. But for some of the groups that are watching this, through this transformation, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas here. So you are being highly guided this week from the universe. They are helping you in your life. But for this group that I'm speaking of, a transformation is going to take place that's going to create the scales back in balance because this person who is representing the emperor, 
Now, in the soulmate twin flame relationship, this would be the runner. So it could be you. It, most likely, it's your partner that we're dealing with. But they may be very stoic and not offering, not opening up their feelings, their true feelings of who they are. They aren't speaking their truth. So the transformation's going to happen within them. They are going to transform where their life becomes more in balance and they're going to stand strong in their traditions and values. But through the transformation, somehow they're going to be able to communicate their truth to you and give an offer a sincere offer for a new beginning filled with truth and clarity filled with abundance and it's going to make you want to celebrate because they're gonna they're coming to you some of you it may indicate marriage okay because this card indicates marriage regardless you need to keep your balance when you're making your decision after the offer comes you need to stay in balance with who you are. This transformation is going to set the karmic scales back into balance, which is opening their eyes to who you really are. And they can see you fully in who you are. They see you as truthful. They see you as strong and independent. So when this offer comes, make sure you do your internal uh, work. And I know the meditation card is not here, but what I'm hearing is go internal because that's where you're going to get the answer. You know whether you love them, but it's more than just love. It's making sure that they've healed. And as long as they're opening up, they are definitely healing because this person doesn't open up. They don't share their feelings. They, they're stoic. They hold it all inside, right? So for that group of you, this offer's coming because the scales are going to come back in balance and this offer is going to come. For those of you who are in a relationship, there is a death, an ending to a relationship and that's where the decision is coming. Do I or don't I? How do I do this? Now, the same people may actually, you might even get an offer from someone else. So if you're with your soulmate, you may get an actual offer from your twin flame. Um, it depends on your particular situation, how this is going to fit, if it fits. But through this transformation, it's more about yourself. It's more about you standing strong in who you are and speaking the truth and holding strong to your traditions and values of yourself. When this offer comes, you'll be able to make that decision, okay? For those of you that are stoic, that hold your feelings and emotions inside, this change is going to happen where you come forward and you're able to look at yourself in a, with clarity, with full truth as to who you are and what you want in life. Should this offer come, this could be an offer from your partner wanting to move forward in the relationship, whether it is in romance and passion okay starting like on a new venture within the relationship that you're in for some it's leaving the relationship for independent people again it's finding out who you are standing strong in your values not holding back but keeping the wisdom inside of you to create this balance. You see this transformation is coming and this is based on rewards and penalties of past actions. So for those of you who have been stoic, this transformation is gonna hit you hard. For those of you who have been more giving, whatever you put out is what's gonna come back to you in this week and we're looking through the whole month of August. But make sure you stay in balance, make sure that you hold strong in your traditions and values of who you are and what it is that you want. Regardless of what is going on, whether you're married, whether you're apart from your twin, 
everybody's going to have something to celebrate. And I'm hearing the word everybody. Tell them everybody. That's what I'm hearing. So everybody's going to have a reason to celebrate, whether it's for in, internal belief systems changing. You, you've got, these are good cards, guys. These are really good cards. Um, because spiritual growth is happening this week for you and or the partner. Now, if you're in a twin flame relationship, you mirror each other. So if one of you has healing to do, the other has healing to do. But typically, it can have some delay. So you might be done ahead of time waiting for your twin to come. And this transformation is going to take place, which is going to bring your twin to you. It's going to bring your soulmate closer to you if you're in the relationship. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So for some of you, you may be going on a trip. It may be a trip alone so that you can really get in touch with who you are internally really looking at who you are. It may be a trip with your partner, but for others, your twin is coming. Your soulmate slash twin is on their way to make an offer to you, and they may be asking you to go on a trip. Now, this can also indicate traveling, so they may be traveling to you to offer you this. Whatever they offer you, you're going to want to celebrate it. Five is change. So you've got the death card and you've got the change card. Justice and temperance are about balance. The emperor standing in his truth. Queen of swords standing in their truth. The wise. They've been there. They've done it. This is really going to be a very monumental week for many of you Aries. Okay, so this message is for you. Let's see what they want you to know for you. This is from Crystal. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you cannot see, which definitely, I know there's so much glare. Oh, better. Um, have faith and hope. Stand strong in who you are trust in the universe because the universe you've got five major arcanas out of eight cards here they are definitely at play making changes in a lot of your lives right now this is this is going to be a very very beautiful week and again it can run over into the following week but i'm hearing for a lot of you it's throughout the month of august so for, for many, okay, this is for you. Now, for those of you that it didn't resonate with you, please check out your moon and rising. Between the three signs, you'll be able to see which overlap each other and how it can affect and resonate with your life. And don't forget to get specific in your situation if you're dealing with your soulmate twin. You can always um, contact me for a private reading. But... For everybody, you're going to have something to celebrate no matter what. One way or the other, you're going to have something to celebrate. So it's going to be a really good week. So I hope this helps you, Aries, and much love to you.